In this exercise, we're going to join a stream of events with a table in case equal dv. The stream is of readings from a car, and the table is reference information about the sensor from which the readings are taken. We're going to start off by creating the table and stream objects. From your cluster's front page, navigate through to your case equal dv application. In the case equal dv editor, run the create stream command. The Kafka topic will be created by case equal dv if it doesn't already exist. Make sure that the response from the statement running is success as shown in the text underneath. Now create the table to hold information about the brand for each sensor. Just like the stream, it's backed by a Kafka topic that is created if it doesn't exist. As before, make sure that it completes successfully. If you look on the right of the screen, you'll see that the brands and readings table in stream are shown there. With the objects created, we're now going to populate them. In practice, the data that KSQL DB processes will usually be written into the underlying Kafka topic by an external application using the producer API or by Kafka Connect or maybe the REST proxy. Here we're going to take advantage of the insert into syntax that KSQL DB supports to write some data directly into the table and to the stream. Run these four insert into statements. You can run them as one execution. You won't get immediate feedback that the insert has succeeded, so let's query the table to make sure that the data is there. To query existing data in a stream or table, and not just new data that arrives after the query starts, we need to set the auto offset reset parameter to earliest. In the KSQL DB web UI, you do this with the drop down menu. Now run a select against the table. It might take a short while to return data, but when it does, you should see the four rows that you inserted. You can toggle between columnar and individual display of the records using the icons on the top right. Let's now write some events to the reading stream. As before, paste the insert into statements into the KSQL DB editor and click run query. If the query from the insert to the table is still running, then click stop first. When you click run query, the command will be executed and you'll see processing query appear briefly but you won't get any other indication that it's run. That's okay, because we know that it has and we can verify this in the next step. Let's just double check that the data did get inserted into the stream by running a select on it. We'll make sure that the auto offset reset parameter is set to earliest too. You can see that sure enough, the events are present on the stream. So now we're gonna go ahead and run the actual stream table join. Here we're using an inner join, although we have the option of using left outer joins instead if that's what we need to get from the data. The join is on the common key column called sensor. For every row on the source stream, the value of sensor is matched to the brand name from the brands table. And if a match is found, the brand name is returned with the readings data. We can now open a second browser window and use it to insert some events into the reading stream. They appear in the query output of the join since that's still running at the top of the screen. So far, we've just been writing the output of the join to the screen, which is useful for prototyping and refining a query. What we really wanna do though, is to write this enriched data for all of the events already on the stream and every new one that arrives onto a new stream. For that, we can use the create stream as statement on the front of our existing SQL. As before, we'll make sure that the auto offset reset parameter is set to earliest. Once the stream is successfully created, we can query it. The results are the same as we saw before when we ran the query join first. The difference this time is that the messages we see are coming from the enriched stream itself to which the join results have been written by case equal DB. To show that the enriched stream that we're querying at the top is processing new events on the source too, we'll insert a new event in the second window at the bottom of the screen. As the event arrives on the source stream, it's written almost straight away to the enriched stream and shown in the output at the top of the screen. One of the nice things that Confluent offers is the data lineage view. From here, we can see how each topic relates to one another. This makes it easier to understand how your stream processing apps all connect to each other.